vlog today, but I don't have anything recording. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see you there. Hey, what's going on, bro? For real though. Welcome to a weekend in my life. I'm finna, right now, I'm finna go to the mall. Finna find me, finna spend some money that I don't have. That, Cause that's what I do. I'm finna go to the mall and ball, and ball all day. No, for real. Let me get serious. I'm finna go to the mall and then I'm gonna go to the thrift store cause um, I'm gonna go to the thrift store first and then I'm going to the mall to um, no reason. I really want to go to the thrift store because the thrift store in Carrollton don't got nothing. So I'm going to the one in Douglasville, which is like 30 minutes away. First, I need to get some gas before I not go nowhere. I'd be on the side of the road going like this. Can I have a ride? Looking desperate. But um, that's what's going on today. That's all I got planned today. Just going to the mall. I need to figure out what I'm going to eat because I'm a little hungry. Um, hungry for this money. Um, but for, okay, y'all, I'm, do I'm doing too much planning today. Y'all, I took my graduation pictures last night. When I tell you, they're going to be so hard. Mm, I can't wait for y'all to see it. But, um, yeah, I'm finna head out. And I'll see y'all when I get to, whenever I press record again. And I'm going to try not to forget like I always do. Wait, hold on. I had a vlog that I was going to upload on um Sunday. I still got it. It's like 12 minutes long. But, um, it's boring. Like, I know I'm going to be doing nothing, but, like, it was when my little brother had came up. My little brother had came up for the weekend, and he didn't want to do nothing. He just wanted to stay in the house and chill all weekend. So, literally, the whole vlog was me, like, in the living room watching him play the game on the couch. Is that in the car? Oh, no, there's a yellow jacket coming in. Absolutely not. The devil is alive. Yeah, stay outside like the haters. But I ain't uploaded because it was so boring. I was like, nah, I ain't gonna, I don't want to put out no boring vlog. So we'll just try again. So that's what we're doing today. And I'm finna lead the way. See y'all when I get there. Hey y'all. So let me tell you about my day. So I locked my keys in my car. I had to call insurance and they had to let me in. But on the bright side, it was free. Um, I got the camera in this ugly angle because I'm vlogging right now in the mall finna spend money that I don't have and I feel awkward so maybe <laughs> okay I'm finna put this down so I don't know if y'all heard me but I was saying how earlier when I was getting gas I locked my keys in my car right y'all they were sitting right there on the seat um so I had to call a locksmith, not a locksmith. I called my insurance to um, let me in. I was like, is there gonna be a charge? She was like, no, there's not gonna be a charge. So I was like, oh, thank you. Cause the devil been trying me, but God, I'm covered by the blood of Jesus and he can't get no feather. But I went to, um, I just got out of the mall, didn't get nothing. Um, I figured maybe I should like wait till Black Friday cause I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of stuff. And then that's going to be like marked down at the stuff I was looking at. And then I'm going to be mad that I already bought the stuff for the higher price. So I'm going to go to the Goodwill right now. And then I don't know if I'm hungry or not. I can't really tell. Like, you know how you like, you're not hungry, but like you could eat. Like, I don't know if I should eat or I'm, I'm like greedy. I'm going to be a rapper. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go, ooh, I'm going to go to Goodwill thrift store somewhere and see what they got going on yeah so i'm at the value village doing fun trying to find some versace um the girl talking about some oh, let me guess how tall you are six four i didn't ask you to y'all thrift store shopping was a fail today i found absolutely nothing i thought i was gonna find like some ooh, ooh type of stuff but all I found was beep, beep, beep. <laughs> that was lame but um now I'm finna go home I guess um and chill I still don't know if I'm hungry or not it's a dairy cream right up the street so I think I want to treat myself because I feel it's like myself feels bad at myself for like not finding like nothing because I thought I was gonna find something cool so like myself told myself to like treat myself to Dairy Queen because myself felt bad at myself that I didn't find nothing. 
You see? You see how that works? So, that's what I'm doing after that. I, if they don't got a cotton candy blizzard, because that's my favorite ice cream from Dairy Queen, I'm not going to get nothing, but I'm going to go home and lay in the bed. Somebody's looking at me. <laughs> All right. I'll catch y'all on the flip, bro. Y'all ever ate at Del Taco? Del, what is this called? Del Taco before? Is that like Taco Bell or is it better than Taco Bell? I was driving past. I said, Rrr. I ain't never been there. Uh, I had to pull over at Del Taco because you know I'm a food critic. So I, I got to see what they about. Y'all, this place uh cheap. I only had to pay $5 for my meal. Look at it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this ain't all I got. This is on three dollars. I got this and for um a churro and a mini milkshake. Look. Mm. Dale Taco. I'm gonna move y'all over. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Mm. I'm the chicken real. No, we need to talk. I'm ready to fall in love, y'all. Okay. I'm ready to fall in love. I have never been in love before. I realize I've been in like what's called less like when you're like super attracted to somebody like oh my gosh they look so good. But I ain't never been in love. Like I want to know what it feels like to be in love. And that's how you meet the love of your lives in college. What it though? Because I'm finna graduate next month. And I'm still by my lonesome. It's like, I'm such a catch, but I be picky, y'all. Don't even feel bad for me because I, I, I bring it upon myself. Because... I be saying, I be saying that I'm ready for love, and then when somebody come to me like showing interest, and like I feel like they're like starting to like me, I be like, oh, I'm not ready for a relationship. So it's like, but I think like it's maybe because I think when I meet when I meet that right person, that's when I like change that bad quality that I do. Know what I mean? I feel like the right person will make you. And my mama always told me that. You know, because I always thought like I've never been in love, so how do I know what love feels like? And my mama always told me like, you, you'll you know. You'll know when you're in love. Mm-mm. Dang. Oh. That's what's going on with me in my depressed life. Oh, there ain't nothing. Put this all over my pants. Ain't one of these. Ooh. Chiro! Mmm, it would have been bombing if it was hot. This thing felt like they, they pulled it out the freezer and put it in my bag. Right. But that's my little spill. I don't know. Anybody else feel that way? 
Or is it just me? It's probably just me, but. I don't know. I'm just ready. Like, I feel like now I'm ready. Because I feel like now, like, I know what I want. I feel like I know what I want. Because I've, I've dated enough people for me to. Let me turn my car off. But I've dated enough people for me to realize what I do like in a person and what I don't like in a person. So I think I'm ready. What y'all think? I think I need somebody to chill and low-key, too, because, like, my energy. But, um, my energy is so, like, not always, but, like, I talk to everybody. I'm super friendly. I'm friends with a lot of people. A lot of people know me. So, it's like, I feel like. The next person that I date needs to be like also, well, the person that I date needs to like not not need to, because they can be like extroverted. I don't know, like the same might attract, but I see like me being with somebody who's like super chill, like low key, like 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 you know, like chill, like laid back, laid back. That's the word. Somebody that's loyal. Oh. I'm going to bit my mouth off. Oh. about that the man that came to my class talking about something we not we are not special hey little boy I know he told behind on he said I don't know if I told y'all or not so so one of my classes we had I think I told y'all I think I said it I need to figure out what I'm going to get my family for, um, Christmas. Hey, girl came up to me in that Value Village, some of some. And let me guess. I was like, oh. what are you guessing? She was like, let me guess how tall you are. Six five. I started saying, get out of my fat ass. Mm. Is Del Taco? I don't think it's a Del Taco in Athens. It's good though. And then like I don't have to fall in love right now. I want a career. Um if I had to choose between a career and a job, I'm gonna choose my job because like I love the field that I want to go in. I love it. Like, I genuinely love it. And if somebody came to me and was like, you have to decide to either 
go fall in love with this person and y'all live a happy life, long life. Or you can start your career right now. And like, it sounds bad, but I want to start my career like right now. And love will come, love will, hopefully love will come with it. Like I'm not rushing anything, but like I, I love my career. And then, and then I also need somebody who will understand my career. It's like long hours, long days, busy days. Sometimes I might have to travel. And I need some, oh, my card. I need somebody who will understand that without like making assumptions. Ooh. They gave me a gift card. Hold on. Oh. But I need somebody who understands my career and like to not be get super insecure that that I don't know like some like I'll be gone for a long time but you need to trust me enough to know that I'm doing exactly what I'm saying doing. I'm doing exactly what I'm saying I'm doing. Working. Cuz people insecure people be making assumptions on what they think you doing. And that's not the case. I hate that. I saw my advisor the other day and she was like, "So you're coming back to you're coming you're going back to school, right?" I was like, absolutely not. I hate school. Hate is a powerful word, but I hate school. Like, I hate sitting in, sitting in the classroom. I'm not saying that I hate school. I just hate, like, the subjects that I learned in school. Like, media law. I don't want to study law. And then, like, retail management. I'm a marketing minor. I'm not interested in that stuff. Everybody else in there is marketing majors. When I think of us, like when I used to, when I took this screenwriting class and we used to like sit in class and like write up scripts. And then when I took my film classes, see, I'm done with all my major classes right now. I'm just taking my minor classes. That's all that's left. When I took my um, screenwriting classes, when I had to write scr uh, scripts. And then when I took my, like, like I said, my, um, Film classes, when I had to develop films, I could stay in there all day and do that. I could stay in there all day write up, writing up scripts. I used to get excited, like, for other people to see my script and for my teacher to see my script. Hmm. And I'm worried about my future. I'm worried. Because I, I feel fear. I fear failure. I want to be successful. But it's like... What am I going to do? My hand, I'm all the way over here. Look, Lee. This thing thick. Thicker than my dang stomach. All right, let me put this down. People are starting to look at me. I'm finna go into Burlington and see what they got up in there. This was meant to be a weekend in my life, but I didn't did all this talking. This, if I continue to do a weekend in my life, I might just stop it right here. Cause if I do a weekend in my life and vlog all the way till Sunday, video gonna be long, like thirty minutes. Look how small this is. But yeah, I'm finna go in Burlington. I'll call y'all. Not call y'all. Talk to y'all. Wanna either get in the store? When I get in the car? When I get home? Tomorrow morning? Tomorrow evening? All right, let me go. All right, I'll talk to y'all. Y'all, so <clears throat> I'm in Burlington, 
and I hear it's like a parent, a, a parent, a wife, a dad, a wife, and um, the daughter. And huh, let me tell you what happened. Let me get in the car, child. Let me get in the car, child. All right, so I'm in Burlington, and it's a dad, mom, and a, um, the daughter talking. I'm walking past him. I said, what is this? I, I'm walking past him. I said, what is this language? Y'all, all it is is they just country. I'm thinking they speaking a whole different language. So, I think I'm going to end that video because it's so long. And then if I continue it on for Saturday and Sunday, this video is going to, is going to be like a love and hip hop marathon. So. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for so much for. I can't get it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what you want me to do next. Comment what you want to see. Remember to enjoy being you. Be true, and be a Tenderoni. Always. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm gonna vlog tomorrow too, cause I got a lot of stuff to do.